we have these Me Too campaigns going around the world. Do you think that's helpful to women, to the younger generation, or is it hurtful? Because there are a lot of women coming out and saying, actually, we don't want to be part of these campaigns. What are your feelings on that? I think it is definitely an incredible inspiration to the younger generation to understand that they can speak up. If something happens, they can speak up and they can share because I think the previous generations just didn't say anything. They accepted it as the norm, and it is not okay. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely support um, the campaigning. I support the march. And um, I feel one march down the street is so easy compared to having marched all my life long, yeah. quite We're frankly. But about this is about power, though, isn't it? It's about changing the power mm -hmm. relationship, which for too long has been distorted between... Mm -hmm men and women. It's been but too long, women's voices have not been heard. But Cherie, how do we change that power when you have global leaders, and of course you'll know this because you were married <coughs> to <coughs> Prime Minister... Still am, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, excuse me, you still are. I'm still married, he's not Prime Minister. It's true. <laughs> exactly. Still married to former Prime Minister no. Tony Blair, uh, who was in office for 10 years. Now, look, we have uh, President Trump coming to address the forum on Friday. Now, in terms of women's movement, if you have a global leader like that who's been criticised in his attitudes towards women, towards the women's marches, then how do you do... How does that impact? I mean, how can you go forward as women when you've got the leader no, of the free I, world? I, I do not accept that we can just allow one man's views to say that we women are powerless. Of course we're not. We, we, look, we're here. But it's here. not just one man's view, Shri. It goes, it, that's, yeah, he's meant but, to be representing. You know, whatever, whatever President Trump stands for, and, and we all know he's, he's quite vocal about what he stands for, he's only one man. We, listen, we need to understand women. We have to take our power. We are 50% of the population. We need to speak out. Out. We have skills. We have wonderful role models. But it is Why can do you, more? Like, you know, I would just interfere here, particularly, like, because I, in press briefing also this issue came up. I just felt, why do you, we want our agenda to be dominated by just one person? Yes, exactly. Why? We have a much stronger agenda for young girls, young women, and that agenda, why don't we make that huge? And, I, and, and, and I'll just narrate about these young women who are saying that we don't want to be part which is being talked. Even that also I feel that I saw in the communities that young girls were coming forward to work for two months in a bank and get a bicycles to go to school. Sherry, we distributed the bicycles for girls to go to school. So in the communities, if you see that there is the mood, there is the, if we, there is a, these are the role models. And why do we not think of those role models? These young girls want to bike to school, go to high school, become a scientist, be like a leader like you and leader like Sherry. But both men and women can be role models, Chetna, can't yes. they? Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.